What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is Transform, a 2020 Silverado Trail Boss. Now I warn you before we get into this, this is a love-hate video. Some of you are gonna love it, some of you are gonna hate it, but you know what, it's not your truck. Actually, it's not my truck either. But some of you are gonna love it, some of you are gonna hate it. We'll get into it. Here we go. <music> guys we have made it and if you don't know Adam this guy is nothing but professional as uh, you can see right there, right there. so this is the truck guys so what we need to do is if you don't know the trail boss comes with a factory leveling kit so we need to get it down to regular height drop it four inches Six in the rear with the rear leafs flip. Take off the Z71 badges, of course, and then put some 24s on it. Okay, so here it is after it's tinted, and now we need to slam it. Okay, so we kind of dropped the ball in videoing what's going on here, but we've got the rear shocks out. The rear leaf is up here now. It needs to go across there. How big was that spacer, Sean, on the trail? About two inches? Roughly, yeah. Yeah, there's a two inch spacer here. I'm assuming because it's the uh, trail boss. And uh, front bolt is out of both leaf springs. We're gonna take the rear bolt out yet. And what else? That's it. Doesn't yeah, sound like uh, a lot of work, but it is a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. So this is the stock part. So that's the spacer. And I think usually it's about half that size, but with the trail boss, it's a little taller, new bolts. And then over here, we haven't figured out yet what these are. So their instructions are less than labeled. They tell you what your kit should have, but they don't tell you what it is. But Anyway, we've got, this box has this C-notch in it. We'll do that after. We've got our shock relocate bracket there and our new U-bolts and our new plates. <laughs> okay, so we got the leaf springs out. And when I say we, I mean Sean wrestled the leaf springs out. But uh, now the leaf springs have to go back in. Yeah. How do you feel about that? It'll, it'll get done. Yeah, leaf spring. So now the leaf spring. So this is your drop, right? So you got the automatic four inches from the diff plus the block. They offer a different shackle that gives it a fiber, but I cheaped out and didn't get that. Okay, we're just getting the finishing touches done here, but we have the shock relocation, the flip kit, cool DJM because you can adjust the pinion angle. And uh, yeah, the back is done. Okay, so here's where we're at right now. There's the front still at stock ride height. There's the rear. Um, we just have the bump stop out. We have not done the C notch yet. So yeah, we're gonna test fit a couple wheels on here and determine whether it's gotta come down more because I don't think it's low enough. Come see it. <laughs> Does that look good? I think it needs to be lower, like two inches lower. You think I should leave the trail boss stickers on it or should I take them off? Just to really f with people, I should leave the Z71 and trail boss sticker on there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my guy. Like from off road machine, the street truck. Like two trucks in one. Okay, on to the front. We ran into the issue with the shocks in the rear that I mentioned. Now the front, we're gonna have, um, I bought some OE sh uh, struts because with the trail boss, this is two inches higher, so it should be down here. We're gonna replace the lower control arms and the upper control arms. That'll give us a drop. So this is where your drop comes from. So if you look at this, and you see the way that it drops several inches, when you look at the OE one on the truck, it's straight across. So that's the way DJM is able to drop the truck and take a spec factory spec alignment. I just want to say, y'all don't want to make the same mistake we just made. This would be your left control arm, the right control arm would be on the other side because your sway bar goes into there. So of course, Serge is putting the bolt back in there, Serge's. Yep. Yeah, so this is your sway bar, right? So, well, we had better instructions. Well, yeah, these are the instructions DJM gives you. There's your installation guide. That's it, that's all you got. So, um, and then this is your control arm. You want the control arm to go up. If you were to put the control arm the other way, it would be down here and it lift the truck up. So you want it that way. As weird as the geometry looks, that's the way DJM wants it. So because this is the trail boss and the trail boss struts are longer to lift the truck, the leveling kit height, this will be what we're replacing with is what we spectrum. I just want to show you guys the difference there. See, so there's your two inch difference right there. So we'll change the spring amount to this one.
Okay. We've got this, the uh, Monroe Spectrum strut in there. We have to put another bolt in there. And then Serge is putting that in. This is, not sure how I feel about that right now. And uh, yeah, see the axle nut and this side's done, Sergis. Getting close, bud. How, how do you feel about that angle? Oh, the angle? Yeah. It's it's hard. Yeah, it's it's interesting, isn't it? It's quite angle. Yeah, I'm not sure why they do that. It has to do with caster camber of some sort, I'm sure. We'll see but, when it's on that Yeah, we'll, we'll see when we get it on the rack. So, side note for DJM. They give you an awesome location on either side of the control arm and the ball joints for three snipples. And we got one. So, but our own. I guess, honest review, if anybody's looking to do this kit, these boots don't fit where the on the ball joints. This should be coming through here, the calcium end a little more. Same with the cotter pin. We have to put the cotter pin in yet, but it should be coming through there a bit. But how if you come to the back. Yeah. How much space do you have back there, Serge? Just... Oh, oh yeah. Oh, no, there's, oh, you, you can see it right there. Yeah, you can see it. So in here, I can touch the inner. The, the, yeah, like, ball I don't joint. know how you're gonna hold grease in that. You're not. No. Stuff. Yeah. Opening for sand and dirt and debris. Yeah. But Serge suggested before we do, we take off the running boards. Because we probably don't need them. This is going to be the equivalent of a 6-8 drop on a trail boss. So I'm just going to take a guess that maybe that cambers out a little bit up there. Just, just camber and tow a little bit, Serge. Sean, what do you think? Camber and tow? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Shouldn't be too bad. All right, Serge, let's drop it on the ground. Hey, what do you guys think? Yeah, yeah, looks pretty good. I think we should take the badging off of it though. Clean it up. Yeah, yeah. looks good to me. So my stock GM shocks showed up. These are for a non trail boss. And you can see there's probably only about an inch difference, but I just compressed them. And compressed, there's probably a two inch difference. Now DJM says with the stock shocks non trail boss, these work. So. Let's give that a go. Well, they say you can't lower a trail boss, but I beg to differ. So to recap, actually, let me just back up. This still needs the C notch done. You cannot, I repeat, cannot do this lift without a C notch. This is sitting on the frame right now. It's half an inch higher in the back than the front. And we're hoping, now it doesn't look like it right now because it's on this uneven ground. We're hoping that it remains that way once we have the C notch in. We'll know shortly here. I'm just gonna wrap this video up because I got some stuff to do and one of my employees is gonna do the C notch, but this is the trail boss lowered. So it went with stock struts in the front for a non trail boss, rear shocks for a non trail boss. Otherwise the kit bolted right in. All right, thanks for watching. Make sure you do all the good stuff.